As recall, the mechanism happening inside a gas absorber. In a counter-current flow, the pull of gravity causes the liquid motion, while the differential upward pressure, buoyancy, and density of the gas cause it to move in the opposite direction. During this opposite flow of the fluid streams, pressure usually builds up. Hence, it becomes a consideration in the general design of a gas absorber, more particularly in this discussion, a packed column. McCabe concludes a direct relationship between the partial pressure of a gas to its composition through Henry's law. On the other hand, Dalton's law of partial pressure concludes as well this relationship. More so, the increased pressure leads better gas compression, thus concentrating the solute. This increases the abundance of the solute to be absorbed by the liquid stream during the absorption phase. Pressure build up when the liquid stream flows and the space which are supposed to be taken by the gas particles becomes smaller. Recall the indirect relationship of pressure to area. The smaller openings for gas particles increase pressure. At higher liquid rates, cross-section area is smaller and a portion of the energy of the stream is used to support increased quantity of liquid in the column. Earlier, we have been discussed with the packing materials. This time, let us pay attention to their designs and geometry. The first two, A and B or the Rashig and Lessing rings, relatively are simpler kinds of packing materials in terms of design and geometry compared to C and D, the Burl saddle and Paul ring. It has been noticed that due to these materials, two phenomena happens. When a gas stream overcomes a liquid stream rate, flooding occurs. If the maximum shear forces on the gas is so high, it exceeds the weight of the liquid. It happens when the packing material is similar in structure with the first two, the Rashig ring and the Lessing ring. On the other hand, if the packing materials happen to be discontinuous in nature, phase inversion or loading happens, and gas bubbles through the liquid and the column operation becomes unstable. Either case leads to the decrease in the interaction between the gas and the liquid stream, thus, it decreases the efficiency of the tower and the rate of absorption. To increase the overall performance of the tower, distributors are used to evenly dispense either stream. For this discussion, liquid distributors will be tackled. Some examples of liquid distributors are the simple orifice, notched through chimney, and perforated rings. Each has their own considerations for use, advantages and disadvantages. For instance, the picture in the upper left corner can be used for fine liquid distribution but is susceptible to blockage due to its holes. In contrast, the picture in the lower right corner is used to minimize pressure loss. Now, any deviation from the uniformity of the distribution over the tower is called maldistribution. There are five main reasons for its occurrence. The uneven distribution of the liquid distributor over the column cross-section, the adherence and flow of liquid onto the walls due to coalescence, inhibition by packing geometry, improper installation of packing materials resulting to void variations, and deviation from the vertical. Like flooding and loading, maldistribution greatly affects the performance of the tower.